got Orson Welles here today filming. <laughs> Damn. All right, so uh, we have interviewed a number of cancer parents and cancer kids along the way since we uh, started in Florida. And today, Mr. Adam has joined us. Uh, what city were we in before we get into your story? Where did we start? San... San Carlos. San Carlos in the right. Apache Junction now. San Carlos, Miami, Globe, Apache Junction. And we climbed a giant mountain and we descended a giant mountain. We did. So, um, your son Leo is four? He is four years old. And he is a cancer patient like my son was. Yes, he has a Burkitt's lymphoma, stage four. Uh, but the prognosis is, is excellent and he's on the path. He's getting chemo right now. We started August, uh, well, September 1st, diagnosed August 29th. Boom, right into it. That's the way cancer is. It, it drags you right in. And we are almost complete with the regular chemotherapy and then there'll be four months of maintenance treatments. I want to ask you, um, like, what were you guys doing the day that you found out that Leo had cancer? Like, how, how did it happen for you? Well. Leo had had some stomach issues for a number of months, unrelated as far as we know, but his stomach was kind of distended and growing for uh, a period of weeks and we had been in touch with our pediatrician, been in a couple times, they said, well, I think it's just a different issue with the constipation or so forth, let's watch it, let's check it out. Finally, it came to a head one day where they, we had been in earlier in the week on a Tuesday. We were to watch the, uh, the condition monitor and see if we can get him better with Miralax or whatever. And then it wasn't doing anything. So Friday morning, I brought him back to the pediatrician and said, we need to really get an answer here. And they sent us to Scottsdale Healthcare Shea to the ER. Um, and it was me and Leo. And we spent all day there. Um, first, we were just going to get an x-ray. And they actually took an x-ray ready to send us home. Uh -huh. And they thought, it, yeah, it's a, uh, you know, just a blocked colon and we'll clean it out and he'll go home and he'll be fine. My pediatrician, I credit with uh, insisting, no, you need to do an ultrasound because we've had this problem for a while. And the ultrasound, if you've ever had an ultrasound, you know they take a certain amount of time with the jelly on your belly. And, they, they, and then I recognized that they were taking an awful long time. And then the radiologist came in after the technician had done it and did it for even longer. And then she said, I don't want to alarm you, but, and that's where the adventure begins. It's interesting because our journey started in a very similar way with Pablo having a distended belly. But it was sudden. It was within an afternoon. Oh, really? Joanne had gotten him dressed in the morning, and I took a bath with him around 6 p.m. She didn't notice anything in the morning. And at 6, he had this like, lump coming out of his abdomen. Oh, wow. like, like he'd swallowed a small Nerf football. And we had that similar thing. We went to Children's Hospital LA. We thought it was you know, constipation. And um, our pediatrician strongly recommended that we go there. And it was like, we thought we'd be there for a few hours and we didn't leave for a week. Right. Um, I want to um, ask you something. We were climbing up that mountain earlier and flying down the other side in crazy headwinds, tons of cars, no shelter in some places. And, and I've um, very much made the, the, the connection in my writing and in, in these videos, and certainly in my head, that. Cycling is sort of a metaphor for the journey of cancer. Right. Well, I, I kind of thought the same thing because I thought, here it is, a stormy day. And in Arizona, we don't get very many stormy days, at least that I choose to, to ride. But um, I was like, here I am. It's, it's a big storm, but I'm having a time of my life mm -hmm. climbing this hill, going down, challenging, challenging curves along the way, mm -hmm. crosswinds. But you, you keep your head down and you do what you have to do, mm -hmm. um, which also is a metaphor for, for the treatment that yeah. we're going through. Because yeah. it's kind of like... Um, People have asked me and, and my wife or, or commended us and said, gee, you're, you're doing, you guys are f so fantastic, you're being so strong. And I think pretty much any parent would do it. That's, it's, you have to. There is no choice. There is get the treatment your child needs. We heard that a lot as well. And we, we always responded in the same way. It's like, well, if somebody shoves your back up against this wall, especially in the name of your child, you're going to keep moving. Right. Um, Oh, we forgot to look. turn this way. Let's turn this way. Um, so, you guys have a website. You've been doing a, a, a website this whole time? Yeah, we have a, a site on caringbridge.org okay. under Leo Weber, um, and that, that's our son. And we've been amazed by the, uh, we, we just did that to get our story out, and we wanted an accurate portrayal for all of our family and friends. But then we've had friends tell friends tell friends, and we've had 
Um, I think 1,300 different people come to our site, and I don't think I know a fraction of them. <laughs> and uh, and people, and, and over a thousand messages of well wishes and people following our journal. I post updates every few days or whenever I have something to report. So it's uh, it's been not quite what you've done, but it, it, it's uh, it's been a good outlet for us. We've been at it longer. Yeah. <laughs> and um, well, I'm excited to meet Leo tomorrow and the rest of your family if they come. And I'm really glad that you came all the way out there to uh, to meet us. And I'm excited to go to your hospital. Yeah. Well, and we're excited to have you. And I'm very excited about what uh, Jeff is doing here and what you all are doing because I think it's uh, it's really incredible. It's important. Um, and uh, you know, it's it's great to uh, to draw more people into the cause. And we'll put the uh, URL for their website in the uh, information section of this video, so you can click on it and check it out. So thanks, man. Thank you. Okay.